Hey guys, this is just a, a warning that I recorded 50 minutes in this first segment, and it is rather laggy. I will be looking into other means in the future of an improving my FPS uh, through mods such as Optifine and possibly running Minecraft with more RAM, but I, I want to just apologize right up front about the lag on the first couple of episodes that will arise. Hello guys, it's uh, Belloc. Once again, risen from the ashes. It's uh, been a long time, and I'm obviously in a very different place. Um, this is a, the server I most commonly play on. It's one of my friend's uh, private servers, uh, so-called Gregston. And this was our world prior to 1.8, which actually broke our world. We played in here from around 1.5 to like 1.8 obviously um so it was like half a year roughly um as you can see i'm actually more laggy than before minecraft 1.0 really did a number although this is actually laggier than when i recorded earlier doing tests which is rather annoying but there's nothing i can do about that not if i want to keep posting videos which i actually do enjoy so if I can deal with it, I hope you can get through it enough to deal with it. Um, obviously, I skipped that first building because I'm going to try and stay in some kind of semblance of an order. Man, creepers really tore this apart. Uh, well, obviously, uh, I guess that was like, I don't remember that being there because I remember John built back in here, like when the server first came out, which was a long time ago now. Hmm. It's, uh, it's probably Josh's now. Josh and his uh, friend whose name I can't recall right at this moment. I know his in-game name. I don't know his real life name. Oh, lots of creepers hit us here. This is Fort Ryan. I did not name it. I'm not that conceited. That was Nate's house. Poor thing never had a chance. But uh, yeah. Uh, I just happened to build here first, which was right over here. I kept it very simple. Do do do. Ugh. Man, this is pretty bad though. Uh, Fell's first base. Those were simpler times, because they were indeed simpler times. Uh, here, I'll show you how simple, in fact. Do, 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 do. Bam! Five by five, bed, chest, crafting bench, one furnace. Some glass, just a ladder going up to it. Didn't even have a hatch, because uh, you couldn't put hatches back then. Wait, actually, no, there were hatches back then. Were there? Oh, God, I can't remember. I'm so bad with uh, updates. Some dirt. I actually was going to make something here, but I never did. I actually. D oh, wow. No torches? I feel like John right now. I don't even have torches. I'm on peaceful, anyways. Um, the server was not played on peaceful, though. It was constantly on. Uh, monsters were constantly on 100% of the time. But yeah. Okay, so after I built here, which was before all this wall and built around it but then John moved in to his house which was I don't even know it was it's still an ugly tower thing but it was it was worse but yeah uh, no torches monsters would come out of here all the time it's been reclaimed by the earth it looks like though this was for mobs back when they spawned as you can tell like lots of stuff was burned down in here now this was fence, and then the door before fence gates. And mobs would spawn in here when the torches were there. And then mobs would only spawn on grass, so we still kept it, even though we didn't destroy all our grass. This is Greg's thing. Oh, we're missing a sign, too. Dang it, sorry. I'm, like, distracted now. This is Greg's house, and he's the admin, so he said beware. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to break this. And now I'm probably banned for life. But... I'll live with that, I guess. Man, I don't know 
this lag could be any worse. You know what? Hmm, Greg, you have some OCD? Hmm? Oh, Greg? Huh? 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 Yeah? You know what? I'm gonna leave this one torch over here in the corner. I'm not gonna bother with those up there. Yeah! Revenge. Uh, this was our community storage. Town storage. Which is pretty much, yeah, crap you didn't want. Other people could use it. Uh, the smelting craft, I guess. I didn't really make this. It's just a little small claustrophobic room with things to smelt and craft. Hence the name. Nate's room it was over there, obviously. There's like a little living room area here, and then that one up there, and then one upstairs into just like a hallway with a, that tunnel going down, which leads down into our mine. It's layer 14, so-called, and then like a balcony. Um, I will actually go to layer 14, but I'm going to go with the original way. That leads down to a bunch of mining. There's mm, nothing really interesting down there. It's mostly just a waste of time because I dropped it. Also, simpler times. Hmm. That goes down pretty far. It's actually covered up now, but at the time it was actually open. Dangerous. Let's not go that way, though. Let's take this. Obviously, you just jump to follow the back wall. I was going to put ladders here, but never did. So. Blah. Oh, man. Crazy. This is layer 14. I spent a lot of time in here. A lot of awful time that I hate. Because this was so low to the map that slimes could spawn in here. And this was a slime chunk. All over the place. Everywhere, all the time. I, oh, God. It was just infuriating. And they, they were glitchy, you know? Because mobs a little glitchy in multiplayer. So, like, they would whenever they would jump, they would, like, fly through the ceiling. And so if they were under you, which I have stuff under here, too... Like, they would actually, like, knock you around through the floor, and they would, like, stop you from getting on ladders to go down and kill them and uh, other hateful things. I wish this lag would stop, though. Well, this is the incinerator. Just a simple little piston set up to uh, allow us to burn stuff. And then, because I died one time, and I think I actually lost some stuff in that because there was a slime right here that killed me. Also, I will probably post some original pictures of Layer 14, but it was all cobblestone at the time. So, like, I offset it with this wood now, but at the time it was just cobblestone everywhere. Um, these rooms are generic, pretty much. This was Nate's uh, Love Shack, I believe, as he called it. Uh, there was, like, there was more stuff in here at one point, but he moved out. Like, this is the second place we all lived, and... I never really left. Man, Kelly is going to be loving this. In fact, I, got, I had to down this here. Because this is... Uh, this is getting a little annoying. Yeah, whatever, everything else will be fine. I don't want to turn off smooth lighting, but I will if I have to. That didn't really make it better, though. Um, this is John's Love Shack. Self-love, of course. And this is where he lived temporarily. There's not even a bed in here. And he got a nice look at the farm. Um, at the time, too, like, this was... That was actually opened up and that was gone. I had to put that up because of slimes. They were, like, walking into my farm and being really annoying. But, uh, yeah, so... It's all that. And generic filler space. Okay. Oh, yeah, and that, if you continue up there, there's a ladder up there that leads up to Nate's house in Fort Bryant. See, to the surface. These were guest rooms, which no one ever really used. I actually took the carpet from there, and this carpet was yellow and ugly. Um, some stuff over here. Tree farm. Now I'll go to the tree farm. I put this to underground later on. Uh, it's not really too impressive. Small little tree farm. Get some wood. I think it has half slabs in it for spawning, which actually made the trees more annoying. I should have done it a little differently. Um, this is the mushroom farm. Back before they nerfed mushrooms. Like, right when they first improved them, and then before they nerfed mushroom growth to, like, five per, like, 
nine blocks or something weird. I don't know the exact thing. I didn't look it up. I just know it sucks now. So yeah, got a lot of mushrooms. I actually have a lot of mushrooms still. Oh, there's nothing else really in here. Uh, both those just go down the same place. This was a minecart system, which I'm not even going to try to ride, but I might I might show it. It's not really too impressive, though. Uh, there's a little fishing area, look around, do whatever. This goes to something we built way later, so I'm going to save that. That goes uh, up to our mountaintop base and what I called layer 101. Uh, also, if you notice, see, this is a, a layer of the map, L-A-Y-E-R, but this is layer as in base oh that's right i'm a very punny person uh, da -da 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 -da. let's see what's going on over here mushroom farm once again oh yeah this farm was actually built it was built prior to uh pistons but i actually updated this one because i used it a lot and like there's a trail right behind that switch which leads up along the walls next to the mushroom farm and then ends at an activated piston you just flick, raise the piston, and water comes, and then it all goes, stores right here. And you just stand here, and you get lots of water. Not water. Well, there is water, but you get lots of wheat. Um, yeah, the most badass layer around. Ooh, I wonder. One second. Aw, oh, yeah. Cat. I love that record. Freedom Tower. I'll go into that later. It's a cobble mess. It's my reed farm, which you can't even see on shore, but it's not really much longer. One second. Ruh, ruh, ruh. Yeah, I see it down there. It's uh, got a lot of reeds, but uh, you'll see why I needed so many in a second. Because this place, I, I have a lot of stuff going on here. Fireplace. Uh, bedroom. Oh, yeah, I wonder if that's still in here. Yep. <laughs> Mike did this, like, a very long time ago and I never fixed it now some uh the reason why I needed the reeds let's go with that next yeah like I said this was all open but I closed it off put a little couch in case you want to watch wheat grow I don't know got some grass that grass oh my god like I said every everything on here was legit nothing was spawned in we got everything and that grass took for Ever, because like I had to let it grow from the surface like down and I use that staircase because I want to make it anyways it's my private study because knowledge is power it's just a little square oh got some books a little square there wraps around little pot lights they're not even glowstone uh, and yeah so this is just all my books and this is why I needed so many books which actually oh god when I finish well that was interesting Okay, I I had to watch that. I thought I clicked the other one for some reason. Yeah, that also took a while. I kept this just in case I wanted more grass. Although that is actually a skylight to the surface, I think. Because I was going to let light in and then just never did. Uh, going down here. It's a nether portal that I ended up breaking for some reason. I can't even remember why, actually. Um, what's this? Oh yeah, it's to Peter's. You could go to the, to the right over there to get to Peter's. And it goes, uh, via Brian Shaft, because that's right, Brian Shaft enters Peter's base. Yes. Only mature jokes here. Oh, that's to Nate's crappy staircase, as I titled it. I think they called it Backcountry, because, I don't know, they love Avenge Sevenfold. But, oh uh, yeah. Now, this is the mine... Now, I'm not going to show all this. Just know it is it is massive. Like, if I ever get requests, maybe I'll actually walk it, but I don't feel like fast-forwarding and getting music and stuff. But, yeah, it this is, like, multiple people in, like, months. I mean, it's not the most amazing thing considering how long we played, but, yeah, not going to bother um, no, I never finished that. Sorry, I'm thinking here. I guess I'll show you, because you're wondering, you know, if I was here for months, how come I don't really have that much? And I'll show you why.